Hi, this is Justin Putney. I'm the creator of N5. A web app works very much like web output, except that it has a little bit of extra code that tells the device that it can be installed by saving to the home screen. Now when you save to the home screen, you can have a custom icon, you open it from there, and it actually works a lot like an app, but you didn't have to go through the painstaking process of getting it submitted and approved through the App Store. So this is a single page in InDesign. You can see when I hover over this, there's a dotted line around it. That's indicating that this is a multi-state object. So I'm gonna go into the object states, which is found under Window Interactive. I wanted to control the transitions when I initially designed it, so I built it as a single page with object states. When I wanted to update this and make it responsive because N5 now supports responsive layouts, if I were rethinking this from scratch, I probably would have designed each of these sections as a different page because then it would be much easier to create a second layout and the two layouts would then be parallel. So if I switch between them, it would keep the section that I'm on. And you'll see, you'll see that when, the, when we get to the output. The one thing I do want to show with this is how to make this responsive. And I want to mention what you want to think about as you are creating a document for a web app. This at the top has this black bar with the, the time, the date, the charge, the Wi-Fi. That you want to factor in to your design. So in this case, I'm doing the, the typical old school iPad layout of 1024 by 768. And what I just want to do with each layout is subtract 20 pixels for that bar at the top. So keep that in mind as we're creating that. And one simple way to make your life easier when starting out is to use a document preset. When you install N5, even if you're just using the demo version, it comes with all of these document presets. And there are iPad web app setups that you can use. So if you just want to start out with, say, the horizontal layout, open that up, and you can see that it's 1024, but then it's subtracted 20 pixels from the height, so it's 748. You don't even have to think about it there. Now, I'm already working with this document. I've already got that screen size, and what I want to do is to create an alternate layout. That alternate layout is going to be the vertical version. So it's going to use the landscape as a source, but we're going to create the portrait version. So I actually want the width to be 768. By default, uh, InDesign is going to just switch these over. And then I need to subtract 20 from the height. So that's going to be 1004. And then I can just click OK. And then that will take a moment and it will create a second layout. I'm just going to expand my pages panel so you can see there's another layout. and what it did was create that page size. Let me zoom out. Um, and then it just copied this content. If I were doing this now, I would have designed this as multiple pages because now I have to go in to every state and edit this. And actually, I want to rethink the layout for this, this portrait version. I want to optimize for that layout. And let me show you one thing that might make it just a little bit easier in some cases. So I'm just going to undo creating that alternate layout. And I want to show you under the N5 menu, there's also a build wizard for a layout. It's called the Magic Layout Builder. And it's essentially exactly like the, the dialogue we just looked at, where you can create an alternate layout. But this one will use InDesign's Adjust Layout feature. And so it'll do a little bit better job of shifting things. And we can, we can try this out and see how it looks. So actually it did do a slightly better job. So you can see this actually fits on the page. Um, so this might be a better starting point if you're creating those. Now uh, I'm gonna jump to the finished version so you can see uh, what I did. I actually redesigned this, this landscape page. And so here's the, the menu and I designed it to come up as animation. The, the specifics aren't super important. But what I want you to see is that I've thought it out differently. The, the menu, instead of coming up on the side, is a pop-up. I can hide it and you can see what the content underneath looks like. So that's what it's going to look like in the portrait version. 
I'm going to export this finished version. There is an easy way to do it. Let's start with that. I go up to N5 and choose Easy Export Wizard. The Easy Export Wizard basically gives you a choice of things you're making. So in this case, we're making a web app. So I could just click Next, choose a font setting. So I choose Pixel Perfect, and then I give it a name and I just click Export Now. Now what I want to show you is what it would take if you wanted to make some customizations, which we're going to do. So you saw that I already chose web app. So let me click advanced. And what that's going to do is bring up these choices with, for example, the web app down here already selected. So it's a multi-device web app. I could choose to make it specific to the iPad if I wanted to limit it there, iPhone or Android, but the multi-device lets me use any of those. And what you'll see is that choice adds installation instructions to help the user install. This also automatically detected responsive layouts from the, the export wizard. So it's going to stitch these together and only show them when it's appropriate. You'll see that in the output. And then I can make some customizations. Maybe I want uh, to render the text as SVG. So it's nice and sharp regardless on these high def devices. And then, in the advanced, let's say I want a custom icon. So I am going to go in here. I created an icon in Illustrator, exported as a PNG. So I'll click open, and then that gets assigned as that. The one other thing I'll mention, which shows up here, is caching. You can cache these offline. It has to be saved to the home screen and then open once and fully loaded for the caching to work but there is this caching here and there are some size limitations with that. So here it is on your desktop computer. And what it does is say, you need to open this with your mobile device. This file right here is on my local computer. Um, you can tell I have a file path and it also says file right here. But the trick to get it on the mobile device is that it has to be on a web server. I'm gonna switch over to the iOS simulator and open Safari. Now you have to do this in Safari on Mac, or you have, if you're doing it on Android, you have to do it in Chrome because it only works with a system's native browser. This is a very specific behavior. So you can see the iPad experience versus the desktop experience. This one, the iPad gives me instructions on how to install. So I click that button, as it says, there's my custom icon that shows up from the export. And I just choose the add to home screen option. And I click add, and here's my web app. Now, when I click that, it loads up the app. So instead of seeing this message or the install screen, I see the actual app. And I can click through and see the different sections. You can see there's animation within these states. And then if I were to, I'm on my Mac here, I can hold command and hit the arrow key and it'll rotate the device. So now you can see this is the portrait version. As I mentioned, I designed this a little differently. So this, this has this sort of takeover menu and the menu can be closed. So these are all interactive pieces that I built in InDesign. Let me choose a different section. And of course I can rotate back. And what I mentioned was I, I lose that section. Like if I'm on branded experience and I switch over, I'm not on branded experience. That's where I would have benefited from creating each of these sections as a page in InDesign because N5 would actually maintain that as I rotated the device. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, subscribe to our channel to see more like this and I hope to see you in another video soon.